Welcome back to Mr. J's workshop. Today we're going to talk about fixturing, engraving, and color filling. Now before I get into that, you know, Christmas balls are really fu fun. In our house we have a tradition to engrave special, uh, special events, uh, special moments in your life, uh, major accomplishments, things to the nephews and nieces have done, or the family has done, something to remember at the end of the year. So the way I used to do these Christmas balls in the years past, and it's still workable now, is the first thing I used to do was I used Play-Doh. I would roll Play-Doh up when I wasn't playing with it, and put my Christmas balls into Play-Doh and it would hold on the machine pretty well and it was engraver friendly. And and I did that for a couple of years. My my next fixture from that was a spray can cap. I would take the cap off, put the Christmas ball in it, and engrave the balls that way. And, and that worked great too. You know, I did that for a couple years. And then the Christmas balls start getting in in abundance. I started doing a lot more Christmas balls. So I, I made a fixture out of wood, something similar to this fixture. I was looking around for uh, looking around in the shop for it. And I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had this single Christmas ball fixture. But it's the, the same design as the moldable one. All, all it was was a, a, a piece of birch wood. I cut a hole in it and I put a little stem to locate on the neck of the Christmas ball. And this worked great and still works great. But I decided this year, since I had the 3D printer, to make something new. So... Uh, I designed this Christmas ball uh, in my CAD software, 3D printed it, and it works really great. I mean, it sits in the machine nice. I'm able to put the ball in there, rotate it, put it in any position I want. Uh, it's been a great production uh, fixture. Now... After I get done engraving my Christmas balls, uh, I color fill them. And the way I do that is, uh, if they're glass, glass Christmas balls, I take the top off and I use acrylic paint. And, and I thin it out with water so it flows a little bit better when I pour it inside the ball. And I, I don't pour in much, just... Uh, just enough that I could rotate the ball to color in the engraving that I just did. And I'll tell you, the engraving just pops, you know, especially uh, this white that you see here. I mean, it really makes the lettering stand out. So that's how we do our Christmas balls in our house. Uh, if you have uh, ideas on how to do it, comment below. Give me your thoughts. Let me know if you thought this was a good way of uh, engraving balls or any any comment. Just, you know, cut me a break. Don't be too hard on me. Well, I hope your holidays are great. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Ring the bell. And happy holidays. We'll see you next time.